The sympathetic nervous system is part of a larger system called the autonomic nervous system. While the sympathetic nervous system is constantly active in maintaining normal body functions, it is a very important reflex that occurs during dangerous or frightful situations. During these dangerous or frightful situations, the response is enhanced to give us increased energy to our muscles in order to flight or flee. For example, when cavemen were approached by vicious wild animals like mountain lions, the fight or flight response would be activated to either help the cavemen fight the predator or flee. The sympathetic nervous system affects nearly all organs of the body, from the brain all the way to the muscles of the lower legs. The sympathetic nervous system makes use of many complex structures within the brain. The signals begin toward the middle and bottom of the brain, in the hypothalamus, pons, and medulla. These signals are passed down the spinal cord to the heart, lungs, and adrenal glands. The signals tell the heart to beat faster and for the lungs to take in more air at a faster rate. The signals also tell the adrenal glands to use adrenaline, which helps the above responses happen. This allows more blood and oxygen to flow through our muscles so we can become stronger. Here is another view of the midbrain. You can clearly see the hypothalamus, the pons, and the medulla. The adrenal glands, which are located right on top of the kidneys, produce a hormone called adrenaline. This is the most important hormone in the fight or flight response. This will help increase the heart rate, increase the amount of air in the lungs, and increase the amount of blood flow that goes to the muscles that make us move. By taking away blood flow from the digestive organs, more blood can be taken to the muscles to help us become stronger. Because the heart rate is increased and there's more blood flow to the muscles, our body temperature will increase, which may lead to sweating. Okay. Now let's see a real life situation that exhibits the fight or flight response. Here we have Morgan and her boyfriend Brian. Brian is a strong-willed lumberjack with an iron fist. Let's see what happens when another guy checks out his lady. Bro, what are you doing? You checking out my lady, bro? Oh, no, 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 no. What? What? Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? When Ryan saw Brian approaching quickly, his sympathetic nervous system kicked in. The response that was selected was the flight response. Let's see what happens in a little bit different scenario. After Brian forced Ryan to run away in fear, Morgan decided he was too much man and started dating Andy. Andy is not nearly as burly as Brian was, so let's see what happens this time around. Check out my lady, bro. What are you gonna do about it? This time, Ryan chose the fight response. Ryan experienced increased heart rate, increased breathing rate, increased body temperature and sweating, and an increased blood flow to the muscles. These are classic symptoms of the fight or flight response of the sympathetic nervous system. Ryan had all these symptoms when he saw Morgan's boyfriend approaching. He either flee or fight once he became frightened from the approach of Morgan's boyfriend. Regardless of which activity he chose, the same response is happening.
scare you? If so, your sympathetic nervous system probably kicked in and exhibited a similar response to what Brian experienced. Sympathetic nervous system is very important to our survival in dangerous situations. The fight or flight response allows the body to make a quick and drastic response to scary and dangerous situations.